everyone, I'm Ola and this time we're going to play my cafe recipes and stories. I continue answering your questions on the most popular topics. Well, this is actually the second part of my previous video, so let's go! Part 2 Okay, I have uh, some profit earned and some profit lost and this is because I need to upgrade my equipment which is the wild berries equipment. So you can upgrade it if you click on it and then you can upgrade the device forest berries refrigerator to level 1. And I can actually do this. Let's do this. Wow! Now I can serve more recipes. So what happens if I want to upgrade it to the next level? Oh, I need too much money for now I don't have it. The first thing that we should do is to check our prices. Always do this just each time you enter a cafe. The first thing you need to do is to update all your prices. <laughs> Okay, another question is about playing dice with Margaret. Margaret asks you to play dice with her once you finish a story or some orders from your customers. If she doesn't ask you about this at the very beginning, don't worry, because once you make all their orders, like buy furniture or talk to someone, then she suggests it herself. If she doesn't do this, then probably you haven't fulfilled an order, or you haven't helped your customers, or you haven't bought something. And now you can play dice with her, and I have VIP level 3. This is why I can play 6 times. The more VIP points you have, the higher level you have and the more times you can play with Margaret. <laughs> Another thing about the IP level, and I have told you about how to reach it in my last video, is that you have to buy gifts and diamonds, actually. This is the only th way you can earn the VIP level, is to bring real money into the game. Actually, the VIP level brings you more bonuses, like you can ask a customer to order a different recipe with spices 20 times a day for VIP 4, 50 times a day for VIP 5. So, for example, if you don't like it that your customers always order something with anise, or rose, you can actually ask them to order something different, like maybe you'd like something else. Now he wants the latte with nutmeg, honey and cinnamon, instead of anise or rose. <laughs> Also guys, there is a small tip on the video, if you want to watch a commercial to receive one diamond. Sometimes the TV is not working because the ad network may not be working and you may have reached the limit that the game has for the number of diamonds you can receive. Just enter the game the next day and the TV will be working. <laughs> And the next question that you always keep asking is why customers sit for so long? And last time I was telling you about it, uh, that you should actually quit the game and then come back to it. And not everyone just knows how to do this. So this is actually done on your device. So this is the Android. You should press right here to the back. And then you see this, quit the current game and then you click yes. And this is it. So I open the game on my iPhone. It is recommended that every time you quit this game, you double tap on your device and then you swipe it off. Also guys, maybe there is someone in your township who you want to kick out. You should enter through your cafe. For, for example, right here in your cafe you click on your town button and then you click for example on Nastia's cafe and then you can kick her out. But if for example I go to her cafe, you see, and then if I want to come back to town and I want to kick her out, I cannot do this. Keep it in mind that actually towns are mostly for fulfilling tasks for festivals, which grows ratings of your town trips in the ladder. <laughs> Well, and thank you so much for playing with me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and everything has become clear to you. Please stay tuned and follow the news on our Facebook page. Please feel free to ask your questions in the comments. I'll be glad to answer all of them. See you next time. Bye-bye.